what a perfect day in spring. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and every plant from the smallest blade of grass to the tallest leaf on the tree is bright and verdant and green. Why is that? Well, every plant we know has a super pigment in it called chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is no ordinary pigment. It is the most important pigment on the planet. Without chlorophyll, we wouldn't have oxygen to breathe. And without oxygen to breathe, we, we wouldn't be alive. Good thing we have chlorophyll, the super pigment. I'm Gina Deer, and this is The Artful Planet. We have made the most important discovery in the history of our world. Would you like to see a glimpse of these super pigments? Well, let's look through a microscope. Right there. Do you see that? Those tiny little beads of green? Those are chloroplasts, little storage units filled with chlorophyll. Scientists currently believe that they're altogether different than the plant itself. Weird, huh? Well, whatever they are, they are the star player in a process called photosynthesis. Photo is another word of saying light. And synthesis is a big fancy word that means making something complex from simpler ingredients. Kind of like baking. What plants do is they take three simple ingredients. They take sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. That's what we breathe out when we exhale. They put it inside their chlorophyll, they mix it all up, and the thing that comes out is plant food, which helps them grow nice and strong. And the leftover ingredient is oxygen. That's what we need to breathe. Using our lungs, we breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. And then plants take that carbon dioxide and turn it back into oxygen. I don't know about you, but I think it's absolutely amazing that plants and our lungs work together like a dance. This dance is called respiration. We breathe in through our mouth and nose, and plants breathe in through little openings called stomata on the leaves, and it opens and closes depending on the needs of the plant. Now, if you run around outside a lot, chances are some of your clothes have these little green stains on them. Your parents probably call them grass stains, but they're actually smudges of chlorophyll against the fabric of your clothes and it stains because it's a pigment. And while we want to keep our clothes clean, you can see how easy it is to get this super pigment smudged onto yourself or anything for that matter. Which makes me wonder, can we use this pigment to make a piece of artwork? Like a tribute to chlorophyll? Let's find out. Now for this project, one of the things you're going to need is some heavy duty paper or cardstock or watercolor paper. You're going to use some watercolors, hopefully you have some from the other projects we've been using. A water, a paintbrush, and some chlorophyll. We got this from my backyard, and obviously I haven't mowed in a long time, so we've got some good examples. But you don't have to do grass, you can do leaves, you can do anything that is green, because obviously that has chlorophyll in it. To get started, First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make an image of everything except for what we're going to be using the green pigment for.
Now, if you wanna give it a little bit of time to let this part dry before we add the chlorophyll, you can go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on using the chlorophyll as a pigment and putting it on our paper. Now, my paper is kind of textured because it's nice and thick and that's gonna be excellent for getting the chlorophyll out of the grass and onto our paper. I have this little nub of grass and let's see what happens when I begin to rub this onto my paper. Now you can experiment with lots of different kinds of leaves to figure out which one is going to get more chlorophyll off of the leaf and onto your paper. And once you're done, make sure it's clear of any leftover grass residue. And you have a beautiful artwork using not just the pigments you found in your watercolor, but the pigments found in nature. I can't wait to see what kind of artwork you can make using chlorophyll. So let's do this. If you finish a painting, take a picture of it and upload it to Instagram with the hashtag ArtfulPlanet for a chance to be featured in my next video. I hope you had as much fun as I did learning about the super pigment chlorophyll and how it's helpful for, well, pretty much every living animal on this planet. We learned that chlorophyll is what plants use in a process called photosynthesis. It's how they make their own food. And that process gives out oxygen, which is what we need to breathe in and out. And when we breathe in and out, it's called respiration. Have a great week, and I cannot wait to see you again next time on The Artful Planet. Like and subscribe if you feel the same way too. Bye bye now!